For more than 100 years, the National Consumers League has been working to improve the quality and safety of America's food supply. Food today comes not only from across the United States, but from around the globe. And that food can and sometimes does get contaminated with deadly pathogens, such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. They can make you very sick, and they can even kill you. In May 2010, public health officials linked an E. coli outbreak to romaine lettuce grown in Arizona that may have been sold in as many as 23 states. This foodborne illness event followed a 2009 salmonella outbreak linked to peanut butter, a 2006 E. coli outbreak caused by raw spinach, and countless other small foodborne illness episodes, all of which caused illness and death. Who would think that you could eat lettuce and almost die? The National Consumers League believes one potential threat to the food safety system is being overlooked. The two billion pallets currently used to transport food throughout the United States. So the National Consumers League decided to test pallets to see if they might be contributing to contamination of food. In addition to the obvious contaminants that we see here, what we are really looking to do is determine whether these pallets are bearing any dangerous pathogens that can cause foodborne illness. If we're going to protect consumers, we're going to have to have a food safety system that is safe at every step of the way from farm to fork. The League collected its samples in Texas and Florida to major producers and distributors of agriculture products. We're taking samples of this wood pallet in various areas. It's looking very dirty and grubby. Most pallets are made of wood, but the number of plastic pallets is increasing. So NCL tested both types for the presence of E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. Harmful bacteria, pathogens that could spread infections. In all, NCL tested 140 pallets. It's possible that these pallets could be harboring dangerous pathogens. In the Houston area, the League collected samples from 70 pallets, half of them wood, the other half plastic. The same number of samples was collected in Florida. We've got bird poop here, and let me call your attention to the garbage that's backed up against these pallets. NCL sent all of the samples to an independent microbiology lab for testing. The results? The lab found a significant pathogen presence on the wood pallet samples. Of the 70 samples, 10% tested positive for the presence of E. coli, nearly 3% tested positive for the presence of listeria, and half of those samples further tested positive for the presence of the more dangerous listeria strain, listeria monocytogenes. Of the 70 plastic pallets NCL sampled, 1.4% tested positive for the presence of E. coli. Our findings show that pallets can harbor pathogens and other dangerous bacteria that could potentially contaminate the food system and harm American consumers. So NCL is urging the FDA to do its own testing and set standards that will help to ensure that pallets are cleaned and stored properly so that we minimize the risk that they will be implicated in the spread of foodborne illness. If you're concerned about the health threats posed by unregulated pallets, urge the Food and Drug Administration to act now. Call 1-888-INFO-FDA. That's 1-888-463-6332 or go to the FDA website, www.fda.gov, to make your voice heard on this important issue. To learn more about the NCL study, visit www.nclnet.org.